Hey, this is John Hansen, Natural Mr. Olympia, three-time Natural Mr. Universe. I'm at the Powerhouse Gym in downtown Tampa, Florida, training legs today for criticalbench.com. For my first exercise with legs, I like to start off with an isolation movement, which is the leg extension. This really helps to warm up the knees and also gets the blood into the quadricep muscles and gets a good pump before I move on to more of a compound movement like squats or leg press. I start off with a light weight doing high repetitions and each set I increase the weight and do less repetitions. But the main goal is just to get the blood in there, pump up. This isn't a mass building exercise, it's more of an isolation type exercise, but it serves as a great warm up for the compound movements that are to follow. All right, my next movement for legs is a compound movement. I'm gonna do the leg press exercise. This is an exercise that works not only the quadriceps, but also works your hamstrings and your hips depending on how low you go. So you can use a lot of weight with this exercise. Uh, I set the seat as far back as possible so I can get a really good stretch all the way down. I don't like to do the leg press movement where I'm only going halfway. I would rather use less weight and go all the way down and all the way up to get a full extension and a full stretch. Depending on where you put your feet on the platform, you're gonna, you can train different parts of your leg. If you put them wider, with the toes pointed out and the heels in, you're gonna get more of the inner part of the thigh. If you put them a little closer, with the feet parallel, you're gonna get more of the outer part of the thigh. If you put the legs up higher on the platform, you're gonna get more hamstrings and glutes. If you put them a little bit lower, you're gonna get more quadriceps. So depending on what part of the leg you wanna work, you can really adjust it to your specifications. My next movement for my leg workout is the hack squat. This is another compound exercise because it uses not only the quadriceps, but again, you're using the glutes, using the hamstrings, using the hips. Uh, the way I like to do this is I do it a little bit differently than just going straight up and down with the movement. I actually do what they call a one and a half reps technique where I go all the way down, I only come halfway up, go back down, and then go up. And that's one repetition, one and a half reps. The way, again, you fit your Position your feet on the platform will determine what part of your leg you're working. If you keep the feet together like this with the real close, with the feet parallel, you're gonna work more of the outside part of the quadricep. If you put your feet wider apart with the toes pointed out, you're gonna get more of the inside of the quadricep. So depending on how I work the leg press exercise, I'll do this one differently. If I do the leg press with my feet close, I'll do the hack squat with my feet wide apart. If I do the leg press with my feet wide apart, I'll do the hack squat with my feet closed. All right, my next movement for legs is the leg curl exercise. This is a great movement for the hamstrings, a real basic movement for the hamstrings. I do it on a bench lying down. The way I do this exercise is I position my knees right below the pad and my ankles go right here. When I do it, this, this bench has a, a hump in the middle, so it keeps your hips up, but I always try to keep my shoulders up off the bench to make sure that my hips are down on the bench and I'm not pulling with my hips, instead I'm pulling with my hamstrings. Again, you want to get a full extension and a full stretch.
Hey, thanks, John. That was awesome exercise advice. I hope you guys can apply that to your training. Obviously, John knows what he's doing around the, around the gym. Now, if you like that, you're going to love this. Free bodybuilding videos for you so you can see how the old school guys did it, right? Guys like Arnold Schwarzenegger, Larry Scott, Vince Gironda, uh, Charles Glass, you know, all these guys, old school guys that had very, very impressive, impressive physiques doing exercises that you don't really see anymore in the gym. Okay, so if you click over here, you're gonna have access to some of these really cool videos demonstrating some of these old school exercises. But if you're on a mobile device, you're not gonna be able to click that link. So what you wanna do is you wanna look underneath this video and hit that little arrow. It's gonna open up the description area and right at the very top is a criticalbench.com slash bodybuilding link. That link right there you wanna click, it'll give you access to those really cool old school legendary bodybuilding videos, okay? Now, be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel because we're doing a new video every single day and we do all things strength and health. So I'm sure you know something that we're doing uh, every week is gonna interest you. And be sure to leave comments. Let us know what type of videos you want to see us do more of. Tell us, uh, you know, if, if you don't agree with us on something, tell us what you like, tell us what you hate, okay? We, I'm in there all the time interacting and I, I really enjoy doing it. So thanks again for watching and we'll see you again real soon.